Welcome everyone to another unboxing video. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Of course, make sure you guys subscribe for more of these toy unboxings, video games, podcasts, and more. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, at DakotaMorgan3, or Instagram, at Dakota underscore Morgan97. Excuse me. <laughs> I haven't even had anything yet. Professional as always. We are here today with another unboxing for a new theme. Uh, like I said, my Alberta source of video... These guys just came out to the market in the United States. Very rare to find uh, for a little, for a lot of us still. Even though we're finding them in different places at Target. As of the recording of this video, they're slowly starting to increase, but not close enough. And I don't think our friends in Britain are able to get some right now. Um, sorry, Tom. Love you, man. Maybe if you want one, let me know. Uh, it's very, very rare to get these at the moment. But like I said, slowly starting to increase. For the Sarcosuchus and the Albertosaurus in Mattel's Jurassic World Primal Attack Massive Biters line. Uh, let's take a look here. Really, really cool button here. Also, by the way, this is a repaint. Uh, the last one, which was brown and some green and stuff like that too. Kind of what you expect a little bit. He is incredibly sold out. Uh, you can get him off the secondary market or third. The third market, one might say. You can get him off of there, but it's extremely kind of rare. And he sold out quick i saw one i passed because at the time i needed to get groceries regretted it ever since uh the sarcosuchus not a dinosaur mind you but one that as a reptile caretaker at a uh, reptile sanctuary and as crocodilian snakes all that other jazz like that you know i am extremely excited for this because prehistoric crocodilians are the best and this guy does match up in line with some of the uh, legacy or movie characters and whatnot too for those toys as well. And size wise, it is lined up. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at the packaging here. Classic, you know, Jurassic World Primal Attack stuff. We have, you know, the animated esque kind of what you can do with them doing the barrel roll, which is awesome, or side to side with the biting, which is sweet. Guy's a beefy boy. Uh, we have. Of course, Sarcosuchus Massive Biters, Owen and Blue. I say we need more Claire. Uh, the Primal Attack logo, Jurassic World. And the classic nod Easter egg background there. Hey, I don't even think he fits in the... He does not. Look at him. Hello, Clarys. <laughs> nuts. I love this guy so much. Um, and of course, too, we have, you know, Thrash and, Th Thrash and Trump. You got Button there. The grid and background and stuff like that. Sarcosuchus. Um, I said this in my last episode, but, it, well, hopefully the last, I'm trying to think about it now, uh, when they all come out. When we did the Alberta Source, they had only a Sarco on here, which really proves to me that this is going to be the last of the line, because we have Dino Escape, I believe, Legal Dragon, that coming out, Primal Attack on there, uh, next year in 2021, hopefully if COVID didn't mess that up, Jurassic World logo on there. Uh, now, mind you, I think, I believe, I'm watching off of Clayton Fieri's videos to know, I think there was a Sarcosuka skull in a deleted scene that was in there. So, but I think it also makes up the Indominus Rex. I don't know. Sometimes it gets tough to remember what's in there and what's not. But let's get this bad boy open. Jesus. <laughs> that is an easier one than the last one. Clip him out of there. Get the packaging out. Oh my god, this guy's mold is awesome. Alrighty. Let's get down in there for you guys. Take a look at the Sarcosuchus, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute unit. And by, also, by the way, they did not take any creative liberties. The nose was like this as well. And a very long snout, kind of like that. That you see here, really, really, really cool. The, really, really cool on the details as well. Take a look, take a look, take a look. The mold on here is fantastic. There's so much detailing on here for the scales, the paint job, which it is a repaint, but even that like little shade right there of red ass or maybe orange purple on there, something like that as well. The orange is something that I think they're doing on just for the last to uh, mix it up a little bit because we have this orange on the Albertosaurus as well. But the gray with the purple on here very crocodilian, very, the orange not so much, but it adds different, it adds character to it. Um, oh, there's a Jurassic Pack step on there for you guys. The mouth in here, smooth, silky, 
wet smooth in here the tongue as well they do a good job don't make it cheesy uh the teeth in here jagged 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 what i want to say you know we got something longer than the other not just standard same size teeth there's some extreme detail that went into this figure uh the uh, green eyes slime green eyes with a little line on there as well a little retelling line on um, the tail uh the spikes as well were like this as well in the circle sukas so it was really cool to see they took that on account and didn't just make us a crocodile with a big nose. That is cool. I appreciate that so much. The leg on here as well. Uh, very crocodilian. And, you know, he does turn to the side for the articulation there uh, just a little bit. You can move him as such. Kind of tough to do, though. Uh, we have here the classic Mattel, which I love about him. You have really good, almost 360 articulation here. Almost. It's almost there. We don't really need 360 because we don't need to have our break, leg break off. Yep, same on the other side here, though, too. We have, you know, the great articulation on here for the scales. Well, they went large on here. But on, on, on the bottom, we have some freckles of purple. Uh, oh, the Jurassic logo as well. We have some freckles of purple and, like, big scales on here. And then it gets smaller on the legs and to the side as well. Uh, it's doing some of that action here. Let's press the button. Maybe. I hope mine's not broken. Yeah, it's a little bit to the side to side. It's mostly bite down, and then if you want to go to the side like that, it seems... I hope mine's not broken. I don't think it is. I hope not. But, so, we're taking a look at that now. So, it's, it's a pretty good action out there. When you might see it, a bite down, and then... And then, <laughs> and then a thrashing as well to the sides. Bah, 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 bah. It's cool. It's really, really cool. Uh, $19.99 for this guy is how much I paid. I don't think I overpaid, but it wasn't in the system yet. Same with the Alberta Source, and I bought both of them at the same time. They weren't in the system yet. So, $19.99 it was. I hope I didn't overpay. So, yeah, everyone, that is going to be the episode on here today. But, yeah, let me know what you want me to get next. And, are you excited for the possible Dino Escape? Man, this guy's going to do some really good photography sort of stuff on here. He really is. I love him. I love him. Way worth the price of admission on this one. You know, you can teach your kids. If you're getting it for your kids, really good at teaching them that, hey, there was prehistoric crocodilians, prehistoric alligators and such. Here's Sarcosuchus. And he's Jurassic World, so you can go with your T-Rex, with Owen and all that, and Claire. And really cool paint job. Just absolute unit of the toy. Big, too. He is big. He's not as small as you may think he would be. Yeah, they made him thick. Two C's. And I really think, too, is if you're a Jurassic collector, you need this guy in your collection. I wanted the brown one really bad, and I could never find him. But taking a look now at the purple, I'm glad I got the purple because it's very unique. It doesn't really blend in. The orange we got it on the Albertosaurus, but other than that, it's very unique. It doesn't really blend in that much with any of the other dinosaurs or prehistoric creatures that we're getting. I believe there is a Prostosuchus, by the way. Which is like a theropod style head mixed with. Uh, it's like a giant crocodile on very tall, long legs. And he's blue. Uh, but he looks really, really cool. And he's only $10, so I gotta give me one of those. But this guy here, Sarkosuchus, just came out. What Worth the price of finding him in Target. And thank you everyone for joining me though. We'll end the video here. Leave a like if you can. And as well, subscribe for more of these as well too it helps us out greatly on the channel and comment maybe a toy you want me to take an unbox maybe i'll take it from my collection whether it's jurassic godzilla heroes halo or whatever it may be thanks everyone and stay creative